So first on the docket here is Star Tropic. Uh, it's an old NES game, so uh, I've just basically lo loaded up a long play of it and changed to somewhere in the middle, and there seems to be a man speaking gibberish. Okay, this is obviously a cutscene. Let's look for gameplay here. So, okay, so it looks like we got a Final Fantasy map. Uh, is it an RPG? I don't know, lots of RPG. Okay, there's. let's look at- oh, okay! So it's an RPG slash Zelda game. Actually, I'm getting a big crystal vibe. I think, as you can see, or tell here, I never played this game. It looks pretty interesting, and people are seem to be pretty psyched about it. I don't know, this looks pretty cool. Actually, yeah, this does look pretty neat. Can't believe I missed that! <laughs> that looks like a fun game. Okay, okay, so, okay, so Star Tropic. So there's a bowling ball that goes Brrr! By the way, if you're if you're afraid this is gonna make me lose my, my sense of uh like a blindness, I always look at trailers before I start a thing, so this is nothing new. But okay, and you got you attack with a spike ball yo-yo thing going on. Alright, alright, you know, it sounds good. It sounds okay. Man, it's kind of hard sometimes to find footage that are not like Let's Plays and stuff. Jack, Jack, Jazz Jackrabbit is a game that comes up often, actually. And, um... I know the music's been used in a lot of uh, World Peace stuff. <laughs> so, it's kind of nice seeing this in action here. I think my cousin had this game, so I got some vague memory. But nothing like that. Looks to be very much like a Sonic-type game, except for the PC. I think it's a PC game. I don't know how easy it is to play. Wow, yeah, this is like really fast pace. Like, kind of dizzyingly so. <laughs> Alright. It has a green rabbit and it has a bandini or a bandana and it's red. It's because, you know, he's a. Uh, you can, there's. there's not, and that's how you end levels. Alright. Something to think about when you think about. La Mulana. Now that's a game that people want me to play for some reason. Everyone, even though everyone knows that I am terrible, and I mean terrible at puzzle games. Like y'all remember Sky Island, right? Like no? <laughs> well, anyways, La Mulana. That, that's a game that exists. Um, you can find it on a computer. Honestly, like. Maybe the main reason why you didn't want me to play it is that I saw ISO's Let's Play of it. So honestly, if you want to see me play this game, watch Isos Tration's Let's Play of this game. It's super cool, super fun, but man, I don't know, the game would completely break my face, and I think... I think y'all are aware of this. The music is amazing, but yeah, also, yeah. Like, it's not blind, it wouldn't be blind because I saw Let's Play of it, but I haven't ever played it myself. Mind you, I... I don't remember much in terms of, you know, exact details, but still, it's a dragon. It's made of light that comes out of the wall. That's the last place in the game. Then you shoot the wall, lightning goes kabooz. And then there's a giant monster there, and I think he gives you the double jump. <laughs> These are the things I remember. Boss design is pretty cool, actually, in this game. Look at them bosses. Are thou a wise man or a fool? Those are from mythology. That, that's Leviathan. Oh, you gotta fight four boss at one, and now it's nine! No, that's not true. But there's a person with bright yellow eyes that are green, so you gotta be careful. So yeah, La Mulana is a game that I know. So it's an action archaeological ruins exploration game. TM! Actually, there's no TM here. Rosenkrantz Stolet is a Mega Man type game that I've also never played, but I did see a Let's Play of way, way back. You play as a lady, I think it's based on a series of some kind, but I have no idea what it is. There's... Whoa! Look at that. That's totally not Sakuya. So if you want to see me watch me play Mega Man while comparing everything to Toho or Mega Man, this is your chance! There's death from Castlevania, and there's the dragon, except it's a wall. See, the trailer is full screen, except not my video recording at this point. But you see all the bosses and their weird design choices. 
That's pretty cool. All my unbreasts, that's a thing that exists on a human. That person has a squid on their head. There's Methuselah. Okay, but the play thing here is... <laughs> okay, is not full screen, that's weird. Whoa, that's totally not <laughs> Mega Man X first Wily Boss. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so I don't remember I thought as I thought, so, um... Sure. <laughs> Trailer kind of shows a lot, but again, that's what most trailers for Mega Man type games show, so... Nothing new here, I'm very good at forgetting. That's not a thing to be proud of. Hey there, Dracula, how's it going? <laughs> Dynamite Hetty is an older game. I think it's for the Genesis, but I'm not sure. Uh, so there's no trailer for it, but there is this long play I clicked somewhere in the middle. It's my treasure, which I didn't know. Ma maker of such game as that game. <laughs> long video. The, the game where people use guns and combine them. Yes, makers of copy kidding. So we see, there's there's a cat that sneaks in the shot. Uh, so. <laughs> I don't know, this game I thought always looked super neat. I never played it, but I saw footage of it here and there. Uh, if people want me to play it, I would be totally up to it. You know, that's kind of like why I want to show footage of, e of these games a little bit. Because I think, see, this is 5-2, so this is what you can expect in 5-2. A cat removing pieces of the tower. And me starting to lose my voice, they're, they're all part of it. He but let's guy go another place in the game just for funsies. See some okay. The John Giant missile and his head is different, so I guess that's the power-ups. And he's fighting Cutter King 8-1, so it seems to be a pretty good big game. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to cut the video now, because I don't want to see more than that. This game looks game so super cool. This is gonna be hard to vote for, isn't it? Because we're barely started. Binding of Isaac. That's not a good game, you shouldn't vote for it. <laughs> I don't know if this trailer will actually show gameplay. For people who don't know what Binding of Isaac is, think of a roguelike where you're in Zelda 1 type uh, dungeons. Except, wow, this is, this is pretty scary. <laughs> Except it's all about like weird gross out humor. Is there any gameplay at all? No, it's just a big weird baby. Okay. So let's not look at the trailer. Like this is a useless kind of trailer. Um sure Northern Lion won't mind if we just kinda of show a bit of gameplay from this thing. HP, See look at that. So you fight a boss. It doesn't even have music on. You fight a boss, and then you get power up. We got the magic scab, and then you you make a pact with Satan to give yourself power ups at the cost of a heart. Experience so you get the mark, get more health, and he doesn't have health, and you go see, see the map, and you you go ho ho. That's Binding of Isaac. Whoa, oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoa, this looks super nice. Guacamole is the name of the game, and it apparently features a Lucador running around doing clap. Man, whoa! This looks amazing. Well, well, I think that man has like mind reading powers. <laughs> okay, this this legend looks super great. Good. Wow. There was a lot of lists there. Okay. <laughs> that looks super neat. I hope I hope that I can play it good though. Why is there's a lady mummy? Just kinda off option. It's a chicken that's pretty funny because it's chicken. It goes paka. Trailer for this game is super short. <laughs> Pika Kana 2. No wait, that's a completely different game. Is that Galactic That's not a game that's in the vote. It's called Galactic Cataclysm. Not sure how it got here. Uh. I can't find a uh, a trailer, so we'll go with gameplay footage. Pika Kana 2. Whoa, these are graphics we've seen in ASMBXT. 
are very similar. Is that where all the weird graphics that Wilhart keeps using comes from? I think the game does come from uh, from that that area, so I guess that would make sense. Pick a Kana too. It's, it's a platform game that has super nice looking graphics, featuring a rooster. Actually, yeah, this looks pretty neat. This looks kind of slow, but it looks looks, uh, it looks pretty neat. Okay, okay, okay. Escape goat. <laughs> I think we're still in older things. Convicted by an unjust ruler, you got you got to escape the goat. He's locked in mysterious prison. Oh no! Wait, you play as a goat? Oh man, <laughs> it's a platformer with a goat. You got to escape. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this looks pretty neat, actually. Stop suggesting things that look pretty neat. You have a friend. Oh, oh man, this is- oh, and you got a mousy friend! Whoa! Okay, okay, this game looks adorable. Oh man, okay. And you tag between the hamster and the goat, and you, you hit the skull, and oh man, it's- Although it looks like it's a puzzle game, like, similar to like, like a block tile, base style, focus puzzle game. So I don't know if it's the best thing ever for me, but it sure got my interest. Soulcaster, well, you can, you can trust Soulcaster probably. Newton. Oh man, I'm seeing all these games I want to do now! <laughs> this was a terrible idea! <laughs> don't, don't mess up the sheep, please, Mr. Goat. Yeah, it's a mystery, he has big, big horns. It doesn't have an other. Oh jeez, man! Like, look at that. I st the story begins here. Oh, I'd say please vote for this game, but like we're barely down the list. Oh no! Aria of Sorrow is a Castlevania game. That's a Metroidvania. This is a Japanese trailer from a billion years ago. Um. Um. Me and Metroidvanias have a history of having Japanese writing I cannot read and the aspect ratio of this thing. And also, visual clarity is atrocious. What the hell? Okay, so instead of being a Dracula, you're this white, white cloaked man. And you find a giant skeleton. And instead of being a wolf that runs big, you're a sword demon that runs big. <laughs> okay, but yeah, otherwise, it looks a lot like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, Symphony of the Night. Except, you know, you're Soma Cruz. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, maybe you can be Mina here. She's a lady. She's a, she's a hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, there's Dracula, not Dracula. There's Hammer. He's important. <laughs> there's Screwdriver. There's Cup Holder. And uh, ah, there's Tire Rack, the most important man in the world. Uh, oh, and then you fight. Oh, spoilers! The boss of That's a Bat is actually an Ogre Man that has weird tweening movements. <laughs> Good times! There's death. SPOILERS! Fight death in the Castlevania game! Has a fancy pilgrim hat for some reason. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know about this. It literally looks like Symphony of the Night, but different. <laughs> Gunman Clive! Oh! <laughs> Pauline has been kidnapped! <laughs> Gunman Clive. Okay, oh wow, so... <laughs> so it's like a Mega Man game, but you're a very over-animated, generic, old-school sky... Jeez, okay. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh, I need to get res preserve my aspect ratio, so I can't fit all the things in it. And that's brown. That's true. Oh, uh, this game. This game has a lot of arguments for for itself. 
like Elvis there. <laughs> okay, didn't expect a giant Aztec robot. <laughs> that kind of looks kind of cool. I don't know if it'd be my first choice, but it certainly looks kind of cool. All right, jumping and shooting doesn't even use gravity gimmicks apparently. Whoa, a stage clear notice? Jeez, you can't really ask for more than that. I can't find footage of Foreverhood. Um, trailer doesn't do anything. Uh, long play doesn't do anything. So if, no, if you want me to play something obscure and I can find the game, I guess that would work. <laughs> oh man, I'm kind of bummed out though. Uh, what was Google search? Linked to some kind of Doom mod though. But I recall it being another game than that, but that's even what even just Google gives me, so... Huh. Bonesaw is a game I know, actually. Bonesaw is ready, the game. I've never played it, but I know a lot about it. It's like super old. It's like as old as, like, I want to be the first, I want to be the guy and stuff. It's a... 2D Nintendo style brawler, I guess, that has a lot of graphics that look come out of Kirby for some reason. Like the hills and whatnot. <laughs> but yeah, you're a hockey man and you gotta find all the pucks. Um kinda watching an let ongoing let's play of it as we speak, so probably wouldn't be my first choice, but if this looks like the kind of thing that you want me to play around with. No, this, this is the game. Uh, very solid platformy type thing that gets really hard in parts. And, uh, got boss, got rabbits, got penguins that also count as boss, got lava level, got snow level, got mountain level, you got snail bomb, you got the yeti thing, you know, it's all, all, all the required accessories to commit some kind of felony. You can find it all, all everywhere. I don't remember a lot of what is being shown though, so um, I don't remember. Oh, you got a world map, you can select the stage, go on a red spot, and that tells you you gotta make this do this level. Never saw that before, so that gets me pretty excited. <laughs> so yeah, Bone Saw. I forgot who requested most of these, so uh, keep that in mind. I guess. See, you gotta get those things. It's a game where you gotta get those things. Y'all know how much I like getting things. <laughs> There's a, the guy, it's like a guy. Wow, it's got all these. Man, it's a seven year old game. So that, that's what trailers were back then. Just, here's a whole bunch of stuff going on without any sort of, like, you know, reference point. Figuring I'd put Lisa here in the thing since it was requested in YouTube comments a while back. Don't really know anything about it other than it's kind of like modern RPG of kind. It's Lisa's little girl, I guess. Unless it's the big burden, man, I don't know. Well, a few strong men. <laughs> man, is it just me or is there huge earthbound? Okay, scratch that. Kind of earthbound-ish. Uh, vibe to this, except really, um, adult swim about it. Adult swim earthbound. That's how I'm defining it. Also, there's apparently platformer. Okay. Huh. That, that looks actually more interesting than I thought by the little amount of gameplay I had seen at some point. Also, there's a tiger man, apparently. <laughs> what? Okay. You get a ride bicycle. Okay, the, the platforming looks super loose, but or super is not loose. Opposite of loose. Skin. What? Whoa! This just doesn't make any sense. Also, way to have a cursor visible in your own trailer. What? <laughs> Don't know if I'm if I'm big in the atmosphere going on here, but here actually looks pretty cool. I don't know, it looks pretty weird. It looks pretty weird. Ah, <laughs> oh, I don't know. Hmm. It could be fun. It'd be really different. I still don't know how you feel about doing an RPG, though. Like, also just, you know, depiction of gun violence. Seems, seems pretty, uh... Bot violence. It's pretty violent. 
Anodyne, thou that I know has been requested by Horikawa Otane, also known as Horikawa Otane, also known as Horikawa Otane, also known as Horikawa Otane. This is all a game? <laughs> like, I'm seeing this on his. This is. This is Zelda game. It's indie Zelda. Can tell because it's all black and white in that screen. Oh, and there's, there's air and there's, there's the wind effect. And there's a bat. And you run around. There's a beach. Yeah, like this is totally Zelda, but not. It's like modern, good. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Oh, wow, those are weird. Okay, you know what? Okay. It's just me. <laughs> Fight with a broom, but he fights like Zelda when Zelda. Alright, but he got a jump. So it's Zelda. Uh, Link's Awakening. I don't know, this could be pretty good. It looks pretty okay. It's just me, or is it a thing where now in indie games you always got a lot of weird things? Like, or at the very least enough to put in one scene in your trailer at some point. <laughs> that wall is moving, it looks kinda gross. I don't know. It kinda reminds me a bit of, uh, The Rock that speaks. You know, he's all... I'll show you what the rocks cook and a foo Anodyne! Next is a game called Crush, but all I'm finding is trailers for a movie called Crush. This isn't going very well. Let's see if there's long play maybe. Just something called Crush. Uh I I can't I uh maybe I mistyped the name because I'm not finding anything. Sorry for misrepresenting your choice, I guess. I play Devil's Crush, it's set Satan the pinball. It's pretty cool. Whoa! Princess Remedy in the world of hurt! I can't find any trailers, but I can find this foreign guy speaking about it. So I'm just gonna have to speak louder than him. <laughs> this looks like it's trying. Let's skip her over. over uh, you can. Okay, so you got healing mode. Wow, this looks different. <laughs> okay, it's like going all ZX Spectrum on us here, but it's freeware. It's a video game where you okay, so remedy shift the throws pills. And the world isn't hurt, it's in fire. And okay, and you got a heart. That oh, so you speak to people and it's level and you shoot people. I wonder how long is the game, cause okay, but okay. I mean I think we get a get get an idea here. I did not expect that. <laughs> It's, it's no escape goat, but it has invisible walls. You can almost see a neck in that wall, and okay, and you find stuff. All right, so it's kind of Zelda-ish. Got it. Okay, you find the X. And you're like, hey, buddy, and I talk to that green person. I melt. That's not. <laughs> okay, looks looks kind of funny at the very least. I wonder how, but I think we got an idea of what's going on in the video game. Freedom Planet is literally Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, I mean, if you want me to play this game, be aware that although I never played it myself, I saw um, uh, Frozen Lars Let's Play of this game. Honestly, it looks pretty cool. Uh, some very nice animation in it. However, like I saw him play as this the, 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 the purple lady, what I could do, like, because there's more playable character, so I guess I could play with a much more charismatic green cat character or something. If this, yeah, oh my gosh, he even drives a bike. Like, why would you play as that lame old pink dragon thing? Okay, so you know what? Yeah, see, this this is the game. It's it's, it's literally Sonic the Hedgehog. You go in loops, and you go up the wall, and you go a thousand. Double jump, we just got the shield, that's... Okay, that's less... We got this thing, that's actually a lot more sparkster than Sonic the Hedgehog when you think about it. So it's kind of a middle of both. We even got pounce things, we got flowers in the background. People are speaking and I'm kind of like fighting with them for control of the volume. I'm like, oh, I'm the one speaking because... The... Whoa, I didn't saw that in the playthrough of Frozolar, so yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll just play as another character, and it's gonna be new stuff, so... Ride that arrow into the swarms. That's what they all say. It was like slow down in the trailer, that was weird. That looks pretty cool, though. 
Okay. No, yeah, I'm... Hmm. <laughs> it has a lot and goes pretty fast. That's the, yeah, the boss design reminds me a lot of the boss design philosophy of treasure, uh, which is a good thing. Massive, vibrant worlds, it's true though. We'd be talking about 20, 30 minute episodes. Don't know how I feel about that, but I mean... Eh. So you've got unique ability of jumping and um, having a frame in the air where she looks like she's just standing on air. That's my favorite pseudo-mutant ability. <laughs> Why am I so picky about the weirdest thing? Well, it's not like I'm... Whoa! Okay, she can throw flowers. That's pretty cool. Those are like straight out of Super Mario New. That's B. Plural. There's more than one B in this game. So if you vote for this, please remember that there is more than one B in the game. Okay? I know this is important information for some people. Super Tux! Um... That sounds like... On tour, that sounds like a little Linux propaganda more than anything. Well, that's a burger penguin! Oh man, it's... it's <laughs> I'm a, no! If, you know, while I'm playing on one... Uh, in the evening, I'm playing Mario. And if you want me to play Mario in the morning, too, you can always vote for Super Tux. <laughs> Look at that! It's it's literally Mario. It's a, big, it's a big penguin. Please, penguin's enthusiasm. Be aware if you decide to vote for this, because it has a penguin. They're like, ba 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 my name is Penguin No Man! I run real slow on the ice and I don't have any hands! Because he has flippers. Flipper wings. Uh, oh, you can think I'm big! So yeah, oh, okay, so it's not Mario Kart, I get it. <laughs> Please don't look at the pipes, <laughs> nor at the bomb bomb. <laughs> so if you want me to just say, hey, look, it's Mario. Every morning on ABC. Between 5 and 6 a.m. on the Trouble Door channel. No, that's that's not a, that's ABC is not the Trouble Door channel. Like they're two completely distinct enemies. Kind of really digging the um, <laughs> the same transition. <laughs> When you read the level, you go in the castle at the end. What up? <laughs> it was in the drop end. John Oliver's a pretty funny guy. You should watch him. Ugh, blob Wars. Long time ago, there was peace. That's cool. Oh, no, not Dr. Evil. Oh, okay, just for the hell of it. It was like, yeah, War Spree. Wow, yeah, no. Yeah, this looks like a game made for <laughs> that story. I have no idea what's going on. There's challenging bosses though. Like that cool guy. Like, yeah. There's that bug. Put down the next. That guy. I have no idea what's going on. Is this the correct blob war? I don't know what I'm like, okay, I'm like you got cards and you got green guys. Oh, you can unlock cards. Or teleport! And frame skip! Yeah! And also six region. Okay, so you got a map. I only see five region on that map, so wonder where the sixth one is. Ooh, that's the mystery if you want to play Blob Wars. You got all these cards like yellow arrows and rock. This trailer doesn't say a whole lot because it kind of assumes you know what the game's about. Blob War! As framed in this video. I can't find footage of Project Starfighter because everything's about the last Starfighter. Even then, that long play, suddenly it's like Ultima 1. Like, what? <laughs> um, there's Starfighter. Is that Project? And it's not Project Starfighter. Though. I can't find that. Sorry, again, I might, I'm not representing one of the games. I, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, Mini. But that's a movie or something. Ah, uh, whatever. Cave Story is a game everyone knows. <laughs> you use quote and you fight Balrog and Misery. Uh, Misery is a pretty good name for a villain, though. Uh, music is so good in this game. 
never played myself, but I saw the Z's Crabs run of this back when he was doing Let's Plays that were okay. Slash good. Um, well, I don't know if they're still good or not, I just stopped watching them. But yeah, just... No, uh, you seen graphics of this game in ROM hacks before, if any of this seems familiar. <laughs> that's that's kind of funny, because see, it's a PC game, it's, 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 not, it's, not, it's not for the Super Nintendo, but it certainly looks like it. Plus, quote, there's a robot, he's got an upgradable gun, and the spikes kill you in one shot, so you gotta move. You can find a jetpack that makes you fly, unlike in other games where jetpacks makes fly and there's I don't remember there being so many side hoppy man remember that level in, in production that was that was supposed to be about football men but then suddenly you were in a cave that has nothing to do with anything yeah it was actually about cave story uh, so if you want me to play production there's the drafty cave adventure see there's the bear there's the big propeller bear you can well, I bet you can't jump on them in this game but Bottom of the island that looks like a place in ATXMT5. Well, the first one, not the fifth one. Don't remember Vikings, but that's okay. No one ever remember Vikings. But there's bees again, so remember. It's a game with multiple bees. I know for some people this matters uh, in the countdown, so, so keep that in mind, I guess. Off is yet another game I can't find anything about. O F F. Everyone writes it in capital letters. I can't. I can't find anything on it. Um. A V G M Adventures, which stands for the Angry Video Game Nerd. Remember how y'all make ROM hacks and stuff about me? Well, I guess A V G M is the scale of fan base you need to make an actual video game. Video game. Apparently it's super unfair in its level design, so that's surprising. <laughs> Looks like a lot of video game tropes and jokes! Like this air tiki scenes they feel they need to show twice in the trailer. <laughs> that's some pretty good trailer there. So there's a Super Mario star on top of the Christmas tree. That's funny, because it's video games! There's a Caco Demon! Oh, there's the balls from Mega Man 2-1! Old man's riding the corpse of Samus because it's extreme in the 90s! That's, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'd be funny, but apparently the game is not fun. You can tell. Oh, that's a pretty darn gosh cute blob cat, though. Have to say that. Crash Bandicoot is a long standing PlayStation 3D platform series. Um, that's not part of the actual trailer. There we go. So you play as the Bandicoot in 3D World. And you play boxes and you jump and you, you can do the... You can spin around like it tease me and, and I don't know what it says. It probably says Crash Bandicoot! <laughs> well, technically this is for the third game. Uh, I don't know if like there's any games that are better or not in the series. I know, like, I basically said everything I knew about this series. Yeah, was that a kangaroo jumping out of the hole in Egypt? What? You were supposed to be a crocodile, considering it was green. Uh, Sturg's avatar is a guy from the Crash Bandicoot series, I think. There's a ghost. There's Dixie Kong, apparently. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know, like... Gameplay looks kind of same in between each level, but I mean, this is coming from a guy that just keeps playing Mario, so <laughs> it's just that uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling it. It's it's not go to escape. It's just, there's some, there's something something not there for me. I don't know, man. It's also platforming at this camera angle looks like the worst thing ever. Is that just me? That's a giant clock. <laughs> Accurate. Dust! An Elysian Tale! This realm has fallen to fade. That's crazy talk. 
Oh man. So it's a game with the modern stories, so you better watch out. You better not cry, you better wear a dog hat or else you will die. Well at least Intel is in is in this trailer. Okay, so it's a platformer, finally. Well, it's a 2D game. I'm getting a huge Valda story vibe from this. Am I wrong? I'm not listening at all to what people are saying, because when I watch the trailer, I kinda wanna see what the gameplay is about. But you've got cartoons going on. Wow, this, that's a blurry game. Maybe it's sound effect. Oh no, that look okay. That we're actually seeing what the game's about. Oh, it looks kind of doesn't look bad at the very least. But yeah, I'm just I just can't shake the balance story vibe here. Who are you? Merely a friend. It's it's a furry wearing a hood, and he gets mirrored around when he's in the shop menu. <laughs> Give the hand it has four fingers, well, three fingers and a thumb technically. Okay. I don't know. Sure. This big enemy design looks kind of nice. Well, I don't know if it was an enemy or not, but okay. Then character design. Okay. Gameplay looks kind of on the complex side, actually. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Okay. It's starting to sell me here a little more. Changes nothing. Dears, what? Treasure adventure game. A lot of you are saying games I have no idea even exist. There is no volume balance between videos on the internet. <laughs> okay. This is a minimalistic graphics game where you got a parent. Dick for treasure. Okay, that's. Well, it sure is presenting itself as a fairly simple game. Uh, giving me some kind of vibe here that I can't quite put back on my face. Alright, so it's, 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 it's a game game. Or is it? That sentence means absolutely nothing. <laughs> as in, like, it's a game with, with levels and you move around? Or is it like a Metroidvania? Like, it's not... There's things that are not being conveyed here that I would like to know, like, straight up. But I mean, okay, I'm getting an idea of the game- Ooh, okay. So we got boat battles. Wow, those looks hard. You can die in the game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for showing that. <laughs> Man, I don't know, the guy playing the game for the trailer's computer, either the computer has issues running it, or the game just has weird lagginess. Sometimes some framiness. Oh, but you got okay. Okay, I don't know now. Give me a big thing to ride and automatically I'm like, oh, in a weird abstract world. Okay, like okay, okay. You're you're starting to win me over. <laughs> That'd be good. I don't know. I hmm. The more I watch it, the more it looks interesting. I I just don't know what to think, but I just okay. It's starting to. Uh... Wow, thanks to you for having your, your mouse in it. Like, how do people do this? It's the second trailer we've seen today with the mouse. Right in the thing. Come on, man. Be careful. Parrot's looking right at a camera. What an amateur. We are, like, halfway through. Braid! <laughs> uh, everyone knows Braid. I've never played Braid somehow, but again, do you want me to play a puzzle game? Think about it. It's the game where you control time with your magic shoes, and there's rabbits. I did not know that. No, I don't know a lot about this game other than it's a puzzle platformer where, like, the sewer secrets are super ridiculous. Like, you gotta stay on the platform for an hour and things like that. And I don't know the exact details. I probably wouldn't go for the super secrets. But, uh, it's a rabbit with a flower on its back. It's pretty weird. Okay, that looks super weird. So there's more than just rewind when you want to. Wow, okay, no, okay. There's stuff about this game I didn't know. Braid! It's a kind of thing you can put your hair shape into. 
Outland has fantasy violence, so that means you're gonna kill a unicorn. Ubisoft. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, well, I mean, let's give this a chance. Like, everything, yeah, we've seen. That's okay. Is that. Is, is it a shmup? You're playing a bad guy? Oh. Okay. That actually looks super cool. It is your turn. Certainly looks polished. As I've done before. I have no knowledge of this game. Fighting alongside you. But it looks pretty neat. I I don't think I've ever heard of this though. Which, like honestly, it looks like Disney cartoon of some like some of the more not the ones they did. Maybe I'm talking about. Maybe I'm thinking of DreamWorks. Yeah, it looks like a DreamWorks. Cartoon. That's a big spider. Outland, huh? Outland. That looks pretty interesting. 2011. 2011. So it exists. As if from a dream. Aquaria. I played with the lady from Aquaria in Super Smash Brothers Meet. Oh wait, I think I saw this in um in a uh, in Giant Bomb Quick Look a zillion years ago. It's Aquarian, playing as little mermaid lady. Whoa, okay, whoa, okay, so mermaid lady, she has a lot of complex movement options. It's pretty cool. I'm digging the art style. It's like hand drawn -y. Well, although it looks like flash tweening animation, but okay, whatever. <laughs> it's the price you pay for hand drawn -y animation. Well, like art style, I guess. Oh, and okay, can move a rock, can watch out for the fish, and a bony will eat you, I assume. Okay, so it's an exploration game, like a Metroidvania y thing, but on the water. So it's kind of like you're swimming. You're like, yeah, shine on that rainbow, and then you turn evil. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And you fight with. Okay, alright. Don't get eaten by this monster, please. It's like a fish shark cat. Fish are are sharks already. I, uh, I don't know what's going on with that thing. Hmm, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I don't know. It's kind of out of, my, out of my wheelhouse, so, you know, you can vote for this if you want me to go out of my wheelhouse. I bet. There's been a lot of choices as of yeah that look super interesting. That okay, that looks pretty cool. It's a giant Medusa thing. Like well jellyfish, French French uh, jellyfish and French and Medusa. So, yeah. Look at that thing. It's all like chomp chomp. You know what? Okay, then you get Bok. And you will learn the truth. You will learn the truth. Aquaria. My Aquaria. Okay, okay. Axiom Verge is a fairly new video game that is uh, a Metroidvania with old looking graphics. <laughs> uh, I heard about this game a lot, but I never saw an action or anything. It looks like you got a drill gun going on, okay. Well, it doesn't look bad at all, actually. Yeah, it does look pretty interesting. Got weird animal. Okay, adapt. Got two point adapt. You gotta uh, adapt two points. Shoot the thing. And uh, zap, 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 zap the slimes. Or the squids. I don't know. Just, just gotta dig it out. And uh, you've got all the saucer. And uh, you've got the bloody thing there on, on the side. I understand the principles that govern our world. Wow, no, yeah, okay. This is totally Metroid 1. <laughs> Not even being subtle about it. Except, you know, like, that thing looks pretty cool, and the boss there too, I guess, is like, something that wouldn't be able to exist in Metroid 1, but, like, the parts where they, they show the level, like, it's, yeah, like, look at that. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're very obvious with their inspiration. Well, I mean, play Metroid 1, but without really stupidly hidden stuff. Show me the same boss again, why are you doing that? Okay, you gotta show how he dies. He dies like that. It's, it's, it's good to know. Man, I'm regretting this idea. Elegy of a Dead World! Son of poet. Should've brought an artist. 
Okay, what's going on? This looks very nice. Whoa. Okay. Elegy of a Dead World. I'm gonna speak to these. That's why it's called Elegy of a Dead World. Write what you can imagine of their origins existence. Wait, what? Okay, these words from being forgotten. Okay. No idea what a game is actually about, but that's the trailer. <laughs> Shin Samurai Jazz. Oh, that's... Oh, jeez. Cut that woman right in half. Oh, man, she's got a super long neck. Uh, okay, so... See, there's a trailer and I can stand behind and jump straight into it. This is what you do. You move around and there's, there's line art, art of a lady on a picture. It's pretty great. So... Combat looks super awkward. Actually, movement looks kind of weirdly stiff, but I don't know. I kind of I kind of see where where they're going for here. It's um, it's an adventure. Oh jeez, <laughs> gotta read all this text. That's that's the, that's the text how it works. It's like, yeah, words are everywhere. But okay, so you got these these non fighty bits. I've heard, or heard in the way this friend a member's card. Whoa! So I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. But there's platforming with ellipses. There's like platforming. It's like they're not really convinced about it, <laughs> but it's there. It looks to be fairly, um, you know, uh, I don't know. It seems to be fairly precise. So I, I don't think this deems. Next, maybe it's like it's like you know, there's there's platform. I'm trying to be coy about it, even though it looks super intense. At this side, it looks kind of like the, the the platforming there reminds me a lot of uh, the Sword Travesty, first of the name. Um, I have to say, <laughs> oh man's got spiky surprise. I don't know what are those objects in the background. They look kind of like half a torso with the upper half, like it's missing, except there's still the spine there. Like, what is it supposed to be? I oh, gotta press the switch at TNR! <laughs> don't don't show all the platforming bits, Gary. Yeah? Unless there's like a ton of it. Unless the guy's just real proud of his being able to beat the beat the level. Game by Larry Stover. Jazz Punk! Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's an afterburner joke. <laughs> okay. It's Jazz Punk. I know a little bit about that game. It's a first-person weird game, because that's how the game looks like. Uh, you play as my symbol. Oh, jeez, that's rough. <laughs> Although, man, that is some pretty neat styling effects. Jaspunk. Yeah, it's copyright old Russia. I remember the B years. Okay. Again, like, okay, like, the style is pretty neat, and if that's indicative, indicative of the game's humor, that looks pretty neat, but... Lucky Cat Squid! <laughs> I just, what's the gameplay? Like, why, why are you not showing it a whole lot? That always, to me, is a little scary. Uh, cause if I put down trailer, and, I mean, okay, it looks, looks amusing. It's video tamed film vision it's, it's, it's a funny joke. Then they blew up. You know, it's, it's a funny joke, but what do you do? What's the game? What, what's the game? Someone requested a Stanley Parable for some reason? Like... Like... I'm mean, even surprised there's a trailer. I've never played it myself. This is a story of a man named Stanley. I kind of know what it is, though. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. I let the employee the guy in the trailer speak. job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. That's what I do for work, too. He monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it oh, so thinking, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in. As though he had been made exactly for this job. 
Yeah, so that's basically the game, is that it's a first-person weird little thing where it's all about, um... Like, the game is pretty much about adverting expectations, especially narrative ones. I don't know if it's quite fitting for the kind of thing I do, because I feel like I'd be competing with the game more than anything. Because I think this game in the Let's Play works better if you try to play it straight. Again, I don't know much about it, but from what I know... I think so anyways. I don't know, like, I get... <laughs> oh, come now. You don't want it to end already, do you? <laughs> don't we begin again? It does feel like a game that I want to play on my own time, because I never really have the opportunity to play a whole lot of things. That's kind of scary. Wait, you... How did you do that? <laughs> ah, writing sounds like the best, though. But yeah, like I'd be competing with it more than anything. Octodad, really, really? Oh, honey, I know you've been working late. Really? Been well, the song in Octodad too is pretty funny. Uh, it's it's one of those oh man, the game's impossible to control, so it's hilarious game. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but seems kind of outside my wheelhouse. I don't know. Uh, the game's called Octodad. I, I wonder if that has any meaning with what, the fact they're not showing the dad. I wonder what it can mean. That's why you use... Oh, it's the Octodad. He's an octopus. That's why it's called Octodad. Unlike Octomom, who's just a mom. Oh, there's a song. They say you control his, his tentacles. Yeah, and you try to do menial tasks! And it is very funny. I'm underselling it. Like, I'm sure it's pretty good. I just... I'm... I... I just... It's, you know, it's, it's a thing that... Wacky old man superpower people, let's play. Well, I try to play straight games because I think it's funnier when I'm being silly with them. I don't know. See, now you gotta clean the mess. I'm controlling that way with the thing. I, I honestly, the trailers just kinda like spell out what's going on in the whole game, in a sense. Not in the sense of the task you have to do, but in the essence of what is going on in the video game. It's a very simple concept, let's be honest. <laughs> to the moon! This game where you go to the moon. I don't know, I don't know anything about this one. Uh, trailer is nearly four minutes long, though, so I might have to skip ahead. Alright, you know what? Like, let's. There we go. Let's actually look what a game is about. Uh, I. I to know what the game is about? Okay. So, it looks... Wow, graphics are kinda like... Kinda... RPG makery. This is, is an RPG. It's a to the moon. Just remember. Moon is in the sky. Yeah, I don't know. This... This isn't selling me. Who? Like, okay, like, I understand why people would submit games that they personally like, but... You gotta think about... Like, is it gonna make a good video? <laughs> well, maybe it's just the start, once you get to the moon. It turns out it's a puzzle platformer. Oh, it's an indie adventure game about one man's life, okay. Every game, there's a light tower. And, um... <laughs> wow. <laughs> those, those are titles, alright. Yeah, no, yeah, that's totally, uh... An RPG. Those are pretty nice dinosaurs, right? Look at that stethoscope go. I'm just not sold at all. Like, I understand why people would like it, but it's not selling me on what I want to be sold. Faro. EG? 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 EG comes up like every time, all the time, forever. So this better be good! It has a soundtrack, also music by these people, did not officially record for EG. 
Oh man, he's got voice acting. Okay, my throat is hurting like hell. <laughs> Please show gameplay. Okay, you got, you got, you got art. You got, you got, wait, wait, you got, oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. Man, I've got some serious flashback. Uh, flashback. That's kind of an obvious joke. <laughs> but okay. So, it's a Metroidvania where you're a lady with a gun and you sabotage. Oh, what the hell is that? You hack a robot? Or not? I don't know what, what was going on. Oh, maybe, oh, maybe hack his gun? Okay, that looks like a complex game. Oh, we got kicks. We got spares. Spare parts. We got a super superhero going on there. I don't know. Looks interesting. Okay, spare as in don't. Okay, I get it. But those are robots. Like, who cares if you spare them or not? Like, it's, it's not even a robot. That was a turret. Hmm, okay. Now it's starting to sell me a little bit more. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Okay, no, well, no, I can, I can kind of see it. Wow, okay, no, okay, now, now, now it is really starting to... That is some super neat destruction kind of like obstacle type thing. <laughs> okay, okay, no, uh, yeah, sure. Bob came in pieces. You can kind of see the bomb there, written in text. There's an explosion that's on a search planet for a lot of Okay. Came in pieces because he came broken up in pieces? Okay. Well, I don't know, from the game, like the name, I didn't imagine something like this. This looks kind of alright. That looks. Oh boy, okay, so it has physic puzzles? That sounds like something kind of scary. <laughs> I'm kind of digging that you're playing this sort of jet mini kind of like flying thing. Okay, because, okay, that's your ship. Oh, wow, what? Oh. Alright. I'm just constantly weirded out about playing about things that are polygonal instead of art bays. But okay, no, yeah, that looks, that looks interesting. I hate just having that to say, but... Wait. Gameplay trailer for Card City Night is 35 minutes? That's not a trailer. <laughs> what are you doing? Alright, let's just skip ahead. Maybe I shouldn't have skipped ahead, because I'm not sure I understand what's going on. But... Okay... But I mean, if you're... Is there, like, a trailer that's not half an hour? That's an announcement trailer. Okay, gameplay. It's still nine minutes, though. How... Those are not trailers. <laughs> Alright, skip ahead. I still don't... Is it an adventure game, I guess? There's the bomb. See, that, that makes it funny. Yeah, this is... This is a tutorial. What are, I'm... Okay, I'm... Maybe it's because there's too many of these I'm starting to lose a grasp of reality around me. The fair princess Long live the, the queen! Oh my god, is it a visual novel? <laughs> what the... <laughs> you guys aren't being serious with some of these, aren't you? And strives to prevent war at any cost. <laughs> I I don't I, I don't think so. Oh, okay, it's not. It's oh, is it like that princess maker robot game? Oh no, he shot late in the back of an arrow. That's criminal. That's not how a princess should probably dress. I don't know. I shouldn't judge. That's mean of me. But. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't think I need to see this whole trailer. <laughs> Kirby in the Amazing Mirror! For the Game Boy Advance. It's a Kirby game, I love Kirby. He is a cool guy. 
Uh, it's, it's a curve. He's not. He's got the power ups, and it's the bosses and the enemies we're used to see. You got special powers. You've got surfing. Okay, that's new. Sonic the Kirby. It's pretty cool. Is there's like three? Is it because it's multiplayer? I don't know. There's like three Kirby's up in there. Maybe so we can store three. I I don't know. I I I know nothing about what's going on here. It's curve the amazing fur. Is that dramatics, ambition? Really? Real? You only voted that because you saw the red supply. I'm not even clicking on that. Half minute hero. My throat wants to strangle me and doesn't understand that there is an oxymoron in there. The world's at its end, that's bad. Oh, it's that game! I heard of it! Where you got like 30 seconds to beat a level and it's an RPG. Actually, that looks super funny. That looks... Weird, in terms of visual. <laughs> 62 entire RPGs. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, I get it. Uh, it's kind of ironic that the trailer is a minute and a half, while the whole joke of the game is that there's a cursor on the screen, is that, um, you know, you, you, you take uh, an RPG and you distill it down to, uh, what is even going on on the screen? <laughs> what am I even seeing at this point? I guess there's more variety than I thought. That's pretty cool. Superhero Wars. Oh, that totally doesn't look like Kane. That that one guy and that screen of guys. But yeah, no, yeah, I, I, I get it. That could be fun. Gravity Ghost, a game I have awkwardly kind of spoken about last week. Yeah, it's the ghost, the game where your ghost goes around planets, and that's why it's, gra it's ghost and planet, and you find pieces of Native American skeletons, monster ghost spirits. It looks pretty neat. Um, Physics-y kind of thing in me seem like a dangerous mix. And puzzles in me is always... <laughs> oh no, your, your ghost dog went away, so you're bouncing around on planets. That's, you're ruining entire populations here. My nice, nice set of antlers that lady has. Okay, no, this looks, still looks pretty neat. I don't know what's going on with that sheep caterpillar. Yeah, see, you got that deer is wearing socks. I cannot not see that, but has white socks, like soccer socks with a stripe. Oh, you gotta do the maze. Um, okay, no, yeah, like I don't have much to say here. Oh, that's. It's kinda... Ugh. Oh, there you go. Phew! You got skim now. <laughs> you should probably keep it on. Just just a little, uh, little uh, hints and tips here. <laughs> the Dishwasher. Vampire Smile. Gameplay. It says there in the annotation. Yeah, that is that, that's the gameplay. You got strobing light on Corpse on the Ground. <laughs> that's a pretty original game you got there. Just show me. Just, 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 dude, come on. Video game. No? Okay. There, no? Yeah, okay? Okay. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, okay. Well, style, the visual style is really interesting. It's like hand drawn doodles. Actually, that does look pretty neat. Gameplay looks combat based. Kind of reminding me of that Ninja Samurai Jazz game from earlier, but. Visual styling here is there's something muddy about it, but it's like muddy in a cool way, kind of like if you have drenched your sketch pad paper in water because of rain or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you played a guitar. Um, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty all right. Kirby 64 the Crystal Shards is an adorable game. The footage of this trailer here for the virtual console version is 
hilariously blurry and the music is super low volumed. It's a Kirby game in 3D and it's a game I have fully beaten in like 100% of the past, but it's super fun and adorable. Super on the easy side, like there's some puzzle aspects because like you can get like double power-ups and combine them. Uh, but it's kind of like on the slow side, so like wouldn't be as exciting I feel as Kirby 3 and that's the whole trailer. That That's not a trailer, whoever made this. Eternal Daughter! Uh, the blurb underneath the video says it's a platform exploration adventure game. I don't know. I don't... Let's... You gotta load the game. <laughs> the trailer is just straight out. Well, I, to be fair, this is not a trailer. It just says Eternal Daughter. So you play as a lady and she punches a skeleton. And, okay, that's... Yeah, it's, yeah it looks alright. I, I don't have... Mm, doesn't do much of an impression. Yeah, that frog guy is pretty cool, though. Got falling leaves. It's always exciting. <laughs> You know, if I had started this trailer overview, maybe I think that looks pretty alright. It's just that now my sense of taste has been eternally diluted. Um, I think I'm gonna put down a warning that this was a terrible idea and not to watch this, but I'm gonna upload it. That guy looks pretty cool! This big old weird Pokemon. Yeah, punch it. Oh no, he screams like a human. Yeah, dagger. Good times. So, okay, so that's, that's a video game. Okay, no, it looks alright. Don't have any sense for how big this is, but uh, if you want me to play. Uh... Whoa! That is an intense ogre thing, Monster Frog. Wow! <laughs> Although he just kind of sits there. <laughs> kind of. Come on, man. Come on, do something. Oh, the lady just has one health. What's gonna happen? But there's. Hard. Okay, so those very quick projectile very quickly swishes his thumb. Ah, but still, well, I think this looks pretty cool. Graphically, there's something going on here. Yeah, you know what? Sure. Mibibli's quest is amazing, and I am going to play it one day regardless as if, if you vote for it or not. It's a very little-known game that, I, as I said before in a past video, I saw a full Let's Play of it, but I don't care. I'm basically waiting until I forget most of the details to play it, because it is amazing. It's a great, really weird game. Uh, kind of Mega Man style, although you wouldn't be able to tell from here. And, um, yeah, it defies a lot of everything. See, that was a place, except, that, see, you go in places, and there's a big man with shoes, and it's like, whoa, people are doing nonsense, and boss battles sure happen, and I know, right? Like, eight bits, there's a lot of bits. Whoa, 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 we're becoming a space fetus. It's great, no, well, not necessarily, that's... I don't remember that happening in the game, but I wouldn't be surprised if it did. <laughs> Like, the game does kind of an excellent job, and at the same time, a poor job of going over just how weird this game is. And just, it's like, it doesn't, it's so hard to compare to anything. Like, you might think these little individual scenes don't look like anything. That's the game. That is literally the game. And it's super good, great, good, hard. Knit Underground is a game where you knit a sweater while being underground. No, It's an exploration platform game where you use a thing from the Netherlands. Or maybe Finland, I don't know. Oh, you can turn to ball and bounce. It's very minimalistic, very pretty. And uh, very physics driven it looks like. Like, you know, Knit, well it's, it's like the sequel where everything is dark. And the plane shines light. Trying to was a game where you use three guys, I think. Like a guy with a, sh a sword, a bow, and a wizard. Yeah, there we go. That looks fast for my computer. I don't know if I'd be able to run it. Cause that is some modern, modern graphics. <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
know how in the three Vikings you play as three Vikings? Uh, it's that, except there's more variety because there's a wizard. And you got the hard guy that smashes the lizard. And you got the wizards that dance the wizards. And there's the rogue who has an arrow and Tarzan swings. The game is meant to be played multiplayer, but also it's meant to be played one player. That is a hella pretty game though, but again, I'm just worried about being actually able to run it plus record it. Uh, I am considering getting a new com computer, but it's not something that's done yet. Can go on a shield? There's no Olaf. It's not leaving me in another time zone. It's a squid. Don't get squidded, please. Come on, man. That's super rude. Oh no, a monster castle dragging the horse structure. Colossi. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. Here called Paper Mario 2. It's, it's a Mario RPG game. Why do you guys want me to play RPGs? I'm sure I'm gonna find it super fun and enjoyable and nice and funny, but I just don't think it's a good thing for me to make a video about, although that is a lot of skeleton massacres, huh? I'll grant you that, but I just... Whoa, Nelly, that's, that's a piece of dialogue. <laughs> okay, pleasant. I don't know, I, uh, the visual style is pretty interesting, but I just... I just, I don't know. I just... Like, if, if you can... Well, first of all, I'm not sure how I would play that for Let's Play Purposes, like, if you can guarantee in some fashion or another that it's paced quickly enough for it to make sense... But even then, I, it's... Of all we saw yet in the list, it's not what I prioritize. Titan Souls! Oh, I, I saw a little bit of footage of this game. It's a game where you fight bosses in this, like, in this top-down view, view my phone. See this little tiny dude on the map? And you're like, oh, <laughs> getting progressively tinier somehow? <laughs> oh, jeez, okay, yeah, 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 I think I saw this footage. Yeah, you fight bosses! Like, every level is basically a boss you gotta fight. It looks pretty neat, actually. It's pretty fun. I don't remember seeing that Skull Spike Man. And you get stompered, and uh, yeah, it's like you got one. It's like basically you die in one shot no matter what. But from what I remember hearing, the bo most of the bosses are made so that you kill them pretty fast too once you figure them out. But they're like puzzle bosses, so you know, you might still take a while to get. I don't know, it looks pretty neat. It does look pretty neat. One lights. Time Souls coming this year, but it, it's out. Electronic Super Joy is a game I want to play that I never really had time to play, but I want to play it. So if you vote for it, and I can play it for its play purposes, I'd be super happy. <laughs> ah, the style is just so amazing, great, good, awesome, nice. Apparently it's on a hard edge of things? I don't know. Like, you, you find- yeah, see, it's like, it's it's basically, it's, 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 a, it's a video game. It's a platform reflex game, like I like, and so you're like, oh no, I'm gonna die, then you bounce, and the resolution for some reason is super disgusting on this trailer, but whatever. <laughs> and you got, you got music, you got a trail going, trails are pretty nice, right? You go like, whoosh, I am white and opaque. Ah, the, just the heavy contrast art style is super nice, and oh man, that looks impossible to play, but like, in the best way possible. Oh. Wow, yeah, and okay, there, there's a lot of people speaking, but no, that happens. There's the modernity of the necessary of the map. That, that just looks super... Everything that I'm seeing right now looks super appealing to me in some fashion. Maybe I'm wrong. See, there's a dinosaur, kind of. So usually it's just auto-scroller, but now you've got a reason. Apparently you can infinite jump, I don't know, but sometimes not. Maybe it depends on where you're at. Like, that's the most obvious conclusion, honestly. It's like, not not really much of a mystery. Ah, it looks super neat, though. Look at that. Look at that. It's all pink, now it's all red. Flowers, trees are blooming. Fans, they are spinning, and lights are so opaque that they hide buildings. What else is true of the world around us? 
Electronic Super Joy! I don't even know what that means. Coming exists already for a few years now. Spelunky HD. I've already made a few videos about the original Spelunky. Uh, it was remade in, in better. And because uh, now. As I peered through the brush, buried under oh my god, the narrator. So I'm gonna go to hell. I'm gonna skip ahead then. Those in my way a taste uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, basically, what happens is that I watched uh, Patrick Clapet's run when he worked at um, that giant bomb. He had the series where he played the Spelunky HD, and I watched it. So, everything that's new about this game versus the old version, I know of. There wouldn't be a lot of surprises. Any. So yeah, I'm yeah I wouldn't vote for this personally, but it exists and it's there and I showed it. It's Spelunky, your guy, Moss Mouth. Y's origin or is it e E's origin? Letter Y followed by an S origin. Uh, I think y'all will just start playing that, but I haven't watched it yet. God's rule is one away. It's a remake of a super old RPG type game, except like more Zelda type game. Except now it's remade, so it looks better. But you got anime cutscenes, and okay, wow, that looks actually pretty cool. I don't know if it's grindy or what or anything, uh, but that this makes it look like it's more an adventure style thing. Because I played Wise 3 on the Wii's 3 on the Super Nintendo back in the day. And it was unfortunately kind of grindy if you wanted to get anywhere, in my memory. I don't know if this one is, like, at all. But the way it's presented looks pretty action-y, but I mean, of course a trailer would show it in the best way possible, right? Like, that kind of goes without saying. Uh, that does look pretty cool, though. I'll grant you that. Look at that tree. It's a big tree. All the big trees. Sometimes uh, the video seems to be having issues with some frame rates here and there, but I don't know. You got, you got all these anime people involved in the game. You look kind of interchangeable, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it looks pretty hard. It looks alright. Click there to get some Disney Infinity 3 Mickey Mouse gameplay, but I'm not going to. Wings of B. I don't know anything about this game, but apparently it was made by the guy that did I Want to Be the Bashi. If that's true, I am curious and I want to know more. Because I always thought Bashi is a very interesting game, considering that it's a I Want to Be type game, but. I give one of those people just the ability to create their own game, basically, and I think that... <laughs> okay, this game looks pretty silly, actually. I don't know, I'm... I'm... Kinda digging it. Uh, I don't know how hard it is, but if it's... And I expect it to be hard. But if it's not... not too bad hard, I... I can see myself playing this. She does. She has zero animation when she attacks. It's just that there's a big crescent that appears in front of her. That's pretty weird. <laughs> but look at that. That looks super great. Yeah, no. The more I see, the more I'm like, yeah, no. You know what? Yeah, I, I kind of do want to play this. Wings of V. Okay. Got a big giant Amazon night lady with a giant axe. Oh man. So there's devil tail and angel wing. Oh man. Serious Sam was um, requested by Anonymous Bloodlust because he mentions this game to me once in a while uh, in real life. <laughs> so, yeah, he has wanted me to play this game for the longest time. It's just that I've never been attracted to. Uh, I don't think this is an official trailer, but it's here. Uh, it shows a gameplay. Like, it's, it's, it's a super fast paced. FPS. I've just never been comfortable playing first-person shooters. And this one is like an extreme, super fast, super crazy one of those. So I don't know, like, this feels... looks like a pretty fun game, but it looks like a terrible idea for me to play. For the simple fact that I, you know, I, I have no real experience actually playing the genre. Uh, but 
I can dig the energy and the uh, very like it's just like this just do whatever kind of attitude towards the game. I just oh man that health power up is pretty great. White square with a heart on it. Maybe at some point was a cross, but then they got they got you know uh, sued by Swiss Cheese Foundation. This monster with lava bobbles. That's pretty weird. That's the electric spark. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, I I can dig it. I just don't know. I I just don't know. I dig it, but I don't know if it's for me. But we'll see what happens. Hero Core. I think I saw the start of a let's play of this, and then for some reason didn't see the rest. Yeah, it's like hyper minimalist. Like it's like lower than Game Boy. Like it's some like it's like no another ZX Spectrum game, except it's even more monochromatic. It looks pretty interesting though. Like it feels like it'd be pretty interesting. There looks to be shmup. It's like it's like an it's like a shmup me Metroidvania. It's a meshwapsvyapnya. That, that just rolls off the tongue and it'll be a terminology used by every single kindergarten in the world. But still, that looks pretty neat. And I've finally become your greatest hero. That's a good aspiration to have. And, uh, okay, you know what? Yeah, I kind of, yo, I'm totally behind this. this. This game by Remar Games. Why is the trailer two minute and something? Okay, so it's done. You made the game in the trailer! <laughs> you got the save disc. Okay, now I guess it's the point where it shows you how to play. Watch ya, Tetron. That's me. I'm Tetron. I've always, you no, know, remember my famous cat phrase? Hey there, one. This is Tetron. Save. Oh yeah, now it's showing us how to play the game. I, you've already sold me on the game, guy. You don't need to show me how to play the game. <laughs> and finally, there's Kirby Superstar that has a trailer because of Virtual Console. It's a game I love that I played fully multiple times in the past as a child. It's a great game. I would totally be okay with a run-through of this game because it is fun and good. Uh, on the easy side in some part, it's like actually like five different Kirby adventure games, but it's okay. A lot of an emphasis on finding weird like power-ups, but like each power-up gives you, most of them give you like different moves you can do. And of course, like no, the game, the trailer is kind of showing you that a little bit, but only kind of. You got Mike, grows hair, then goes away. You can raise DDD for food. Everyone races a penguin for food. Like that's how I feed myself every day. It's eat, eat, a, eat a blanket and become fierce with heaven skills. My name is Ao Cow and I'm here to say my name is Ao Cow and I'm here to stay. That's, yeah. There's nothing much I can say about this game. It's super great. You're probably aware of it. If you want me to play it, good. How's the voting gonna work? That's simple. Like there's a list of a zillion thing. Basically, you vote for three games. You've got ten points to give. So share, distribute those ten points between each of the three games you vote for. Uh, as long as it adds up to ten. One point is one vote, basically. So you can basically choose three games. And, you know, you decide how you average the points between. And I'm going to consider, basically, the top three as absolute priority. And any other game that clearly have an interest in, I will gladly uh, maybe sneak in here once in a while if I have myself an interest in them. I gotta go three, three gallons of water. Vote good and vote well! I might consider making the vote last two weeks, depending if there's a request for it. This is where we're at. Alright. Thanks for your patience.